Now give the gift of life and become an organ donor. More than 100,000 people need an organ transplant right now, and your gift of organ donation can save the lives of nine people. Yes, and Tony Jaramillo and David Lopez are both former presidents of the Organ Transplant Awareness Program of New Mexico, which brings awareness to the need for organ donors. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. Very important topic. And David, I want to talk to you first because okay. you are an organ recipient. Yes. So we love to hear that. And so let's talk about the current need right now for organs in New Mexico. Okay. Uh, in New Mexico right now, there are a little under 10,000 people wow, who are crazy. waiting for organ uh, transplants. Wow. Um, and the group that I'm with called the Organ Transplant Awareness Program mm -hmm. of New Mexico tries to promote more people to become aware of becoming organ donors mm -hmm. um, on their driver's licenses mm -hmm. and being right. making sure that they talk to their families about it so that their families know their wishes mm -hmm. that way if something happens um, you know there isn't a question as to what that person wanted mm -hmm. to have happen exactly and we could save more lives that way too definitely absolutely definitely. well you know the I always hear this rumor that goes around. I remember the first time when I got my license, signed up for it, and said, do you want to be a donor? And I was like, yes. But I remember somebody going, no, 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 don't do that. Because if you get into an accident and it's a close call, mm -hmm. they might just let you go. And then and they said that it could be a bad thing. But that's a, a rumor, right? It is. Yeah, it's so, a myth. Mm -hmm. It's a total myth. So Definitely. don't be fooled by that. No, no, I mean, doctors are there doing their job, mm -hmm. exactly. which is to save people's lives. Absolutely, yeah. And that's what they do, whether you're an organ donor or not an organ donor. Right. They'll work as hard as they possibly can. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, so how does the program then promote awareness about organ and tissue donation? Because you talked about being a part of the program. Well, uh, first of all, I'd like to say that my wife is a double lung transplant also. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, anyway, the uh, Organ Transplant Awareness Program, uh, we get, in, like right now, mm -hmm. pro, you know, talking about organ donation, tissue donation. Uh, we also set up uh, in different state fair, you know, we, mm -hmm. we go to different places to uh, set up tables, pass out brochures, talk to people if they have questions. Mm -hmm. There's also a website that we have, okay. and it's otapnm.org. They can go there and uh, get information also. That's great. So we're always out there in the public eye uh, promoting organ and tissue donation. And I know a lot of people appreciate that. And, mm -hmm. and I want to bring this up because the Fight for Life Martial Arts Championship for Organ Donation Awareness is actually coming up next month. So can you tell our viewers a little bit about the details? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the tournament is happening on November 10th okay. at Sandia Preparatory School, mm -hmm. um, 532 Osuna Northeast. Okay. And registration starts about 8 o'clock in the morning, goes till about 10, and then the tournament goes from 10 a.m. until it finishes, which is usually in the evening sometime. Wow, it's a long day, but yeah, it's all it's for a, a very day. good cause. Very, very good cause, <laughs> and it's well worth it, definitely. No kidding, no mm -hmm. kidding. The proceeds, and can you tell us where the proceeds The proceeds go directly to the Organ Transplant Awareness Program Great. Mm -hmm. uh, of New Mexico, uh, so that we can continue to do our various um, promotional uh, events sure you know such as the scholarship that we do every year which is great oh yeah mm -hmm. definitely and appreciated and mm -hmm. so how can our viewers register if they want to get involved if they want to get involved in the karate tournament they can go to our website mm -hmm. otapnm.org okay. and click on the uh, karate tournament link mm -hmm. and there's a registration form there that they can register with and send that off that's great it's wonderful. It is. Mm -hmm. Now, how can we become an organ donor? Well, you can when you do your driver's license, mm -hmm. tell them you want to be an organ donor, and they'll include that on your driver's license, and okay. it's indicated on the license with a little uh, red heart. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And if you already have your license, then you, you can register online also. Okay. Yeah, and I just want to remind everybody what you said at the top of the segment, which is that just under 10,000 people are on a waiting list. Mm -hmm for an organ transplant. So we really want to get that awareness out there and hopefully save more lives just like yours and your wives. Thank so you thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Coming. Definitely. And, yeah, and continued success with the program. We hope to get a lot of people mm -hmm. out there for the martial arts day. Thank you. That's we going appreciate to be great. it. And when disaster strikes, will you be prepared? Well, after the break, we'll tell you how to prepare your family for unexpected emergencies. <laughs>